In today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 more things you don't know about the After Hours Nightclub DLC, including some secret features, tips and tricks, hidden things, and a whole lot more. So with all the way, let's not waste any more time and let's get it started. So as you guys know, the Tale of Us, the DJ pairing was released last week. And with all the DJs, they get a fun little mission that you have to do in order to get them and grab them into Los Santos. Well, their mission is pretty interesting. So they apparently requested to be picked up in an in Stafford, which is a rare vehicle. One is being transported on some like cargo trailer. And what's kind of interesting about it is you have to like shoot the cars off the trailer. Now there's no way to blow up the cars or the trailer because that would mean people were failing the mission a lot. And sometimes apparently that truck from the Tale of Us mission will decide to randomly make a 360 degree turn in the middle of the highway and it will end up losing the trailer. These photos you're about to look at are from Wild Brick and you guys can see here it is a trailer consisting of two Vapid Flash GTs, the Anus Stafford Arun Cheburek and then two classic cars, one on the top and the bottom. And because this trailer can't be destroyed, it just sits in the middle of the road. And what's also interesting is if you have another truck, you can actually steal the trailer, which is really funny. You can just start driving this trailer with the car's objectives down the road, which I definitely think is kind of interesting. So I did not experience that when I did this mission. I shot out the lower level and then I shot out the top level. I got the Stafford and I moved on. But that's pretty funny and I did not know that that was something that could be done. Number two today, so we've talked about special sales that you can do in the nightclub business that require like certain amounts of certain goods to all be sold at once. Well, apparently these refresh every 48 minutes. Now I've heard people say that it happens every time you change sessions. I just tested that and it doesn't seem to be the case. It happens every 48 minutes, which is basically one day in Grand Theft Auto Online. So if you have a set of special sales that you're maybe nowhere near close to completing, maybe wait a day and see if you're closer to getting one that has the products maybe you're focusing on and one that you can actually complete. They do not stay the same, they change. That makes them slightly different from the import-export sort of special things like this that always are the same. Those vehicles don't change. However, these do change, uh, which is kind of cool, which means every time it's going to be a little bit different. Up next, a really special set of NPCs were found in the files of this update. They're NPCs that seem to have a lot more detail, more accessories, unique articles of clothing. However, for whatever reason, in the files, they are labeled as DJs. So what is going on here? Are these you know hidden DJs that Rockstar never added into the game? Well, it actually turns out that these are friends of the DJs in real life. So not only did Rockstar incorporate, you know, Dixon, the tale of a Solomon and the Black Madonna in game, but they also incorporated their close friends and business associates. So according to FunMW2, these are the DJ's friends of Black Madonna, Solomon, Tale of Us, and Dixon. And what's crazy is these NPCs are their actual real life friends and colleagues, right down to their unique likenesses. So one of them is Jacob Gurnett, I'm gonna be botching their names, uh, who is a music video director and colleague of Solomon. You have Aurelia Ortiz, who's the Tale of Us's manager. And then you've got um, Ryan Smith, who is the Black Madonna's agent. All of them appear in the game. This is a pretty neat addition by Rockstar, and it's something they really never advertised. They advertised the DJs, but the fact that they went that little extra mile to include their friends and their associates in there too, just goes to show you the level of detail that Rockstar ultimately put into creating this update, which I think is awesome. Moving on, did you know that there's a special type of raid that applies to the DJs that if you don't complete, you lose 10% of your popularity? So that raid is where one of the DJs will actually lose some of their music. Like, I don't know what the line of code is exactly in the game or what they say over the dialogue, but they basically say their music has been stolen, you have to retrieve it, and if you don't, you will lose 10% of your popularity by ignoring it. Now, you can delay that by purchasing the security upgrade, or you can stop it altogether by spending most of your time doing missions, 
But either way, it's a special raid mission where DJs like the Tale of a Solomon and more will lose their music. And if you don't go get it, your population goes down. Speaking of population, we've talked about in a previous video how dancing will actually increase your population 1% over time. Well, unfortunately, Rockstar has capped that at 50%. So there's no way that dancing alone will get your population over 50%. So there'd be no way to AFK for like 12 straight hours and keep your popularity at 100. It would stop halfway. So that is something to note that dancing is only like a temporary fix to increase your popularity. It's not something that will make your popularity go all the way up. It'll be stopped at 50%. The number six spot today, I've mentioned in previous videos that you could serve drinks in your nightclub, but I didn't know that serving drinks made them free to your friends. So in your own nightclub, drinks are free for you. You can have them as often as you want. However, if you're in someone else's nightclub, they cost money. Well, a way in which you can get free drinks for your friends is just to serve them drinks. So all you have to do is go behind the bar and you can activate sort of a bartender-like mode where you can serve drinks to all your friends and then they will get them for free. So if you want to be a nice guy, that's something you can do and you can help your friends save a little bit of money while still having fun. The number seven spot today, business battles, which I think is one of the most fun parts of this update. Uh, business battles can actually be uh, really great for delaying raids. So raids are something that, again, applies if you don't do anything related to the business within four or eight hours. Well, a business battle counts to that. So if you do one business battle every four hours or eight hours, if you have the security upgrade, you'll be good to go and you won't have to worry about raids on your nightclub. So that's something interesting. Again, I love the business battles because of how random they are, how different they are, and they benefit your uh, business, which is great. The number eight spot today, you guys know that last Friday, Rockstar just released the Stone Hatchet, the latest Lost Relic treasure hunt in Grand Theft Auto Online. Well, it turns out if you unlock the hatchet for one character, you can unlock it for another character automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. So let's say you have a male character and a female character, and you unlock the hatchet on a male character, it'll automatically be there on your second female character. Now, unfortunately, this is a way in which you can't really get an extra $250,000 because it's already been completed and you've already done the challenge, but at least you don't have to do the treasure hunt again if you just want the hatchet for both of your characters. The number nine spot today, I thought this image was pretty funny. It just goes to show you that Rockstar really has thought of pretty much everything when it comes to the nightclub DLC, the after hours update. So if you approach your nightclub's normal entrance in a vehicle, the game will say you cannot enter this nightclub while it's in a vehicle. Like, duh, obviously you can't do that. But I still think that's pretty funny. Literally Rockstar thought of everything when it came to this update, even down to the little details of trying to enter your nightclub while still driving your car. And the final thing we're gonna be talking about today, more really cool details from Rockstar. So I've mentioned in a previous video that one time I noticed there was like this box truck in my nightclub and it had like cargo and stuff hanging out of the back. Well, it looks like some population missions will actually impact your nightclub. So just like if you bring a celebrity to your nightclub, you'll see them dancing. Well, likewise, there's actually a popularity mission that has you bringing back a truck like this. And instead of the truck just disappearing, Rockstar actually adds it in the update, which is awesome. So again, it just goes to show you the level of detail here that they'll put like a truck like that in the nightclub and it'll be there and look like you just delivered it. So I think that's awesome. I think that's incredibly cool. Again, it just goes to show you the level of detail here that Rockstar have gone into when it comes to creating this update and just all the little touches and details that have gone on. But anyways, that's all the information that I'm gonna be talking about for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. That right there is 10 more things you might not know about the nightclub update in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.